Hello Faithful! This is a special video. This is basically a rant. I don't, I have never done a rant video before, so try not to make it too long, but really it has to do with cover songs. Um, I don't have a problem with Christian bands, as it were, doing quote-unquote cover songs of non-Christian artists. You know, before we had contemporary Christian music, it was sacred music and secular. It was gospel. You know, there wasn't Christian music, you know. Um, that term really evolved in the 70s. And even back then, it was still pretty underground, really. It wasn't, you know, until we get to the late 70s into the 80s when a lot of this stuff flourished. But we had the sacred and the secular. And honestly, you know, um, I, I, I've never really had a problem with that. I mean, we know Resurrection Band, they covered a song by what, Blind Faith? Um, they covered a song by The Who, they did Jefferson Airplane. All, all those songs, the lyrics had special meaning for them. Um, I don't have a problem. I mean, part of it, you know, it's like if a band wants to do a cover and lyrically things are benign, okay, they're an influence. I, I don't see what the issue is. It's like if Striper wants to cover, a, you know, Black Sabbath's After Forever, why not? You know, they covered the Doobie Brothers, right? Jesus is just all right with me. I mean, Deliverance covered After Forever. Who would have thought that, you know, a Black Sabbath song put in the right, in a, in a new context, could have appropriate spiritual meaning? Think about that. You know, we see things in the Old Testament, you know, what God took an ass and used an ass, a donkey, to speak to somebody. How, how, really? So God uses the simple things to confound the wise. And... I, I, I'm like, my life isn't just black and white. Can I tell you that? My life, there's a lot of gray. Because I don't have it all figured out. And the minute I think I have it all figured out, God has a tendency to, in a baseball term, was it toss the table? Toss the spread? If you know what that means. Pull the rug out from underneath you. So don't be so quick to judge somebody because they covered a secular song. I really don't have a problem with it. Uh, that's just me. Me, myself, and I. Uh, if you do, then avoid those things. It doesn't mean somebody else's walk is compromised. It might mean that their walk is at a different place than you. So, that's just my quick rant. Cover songs. Don't have a problem with it. And if you're someone who's going to say, well, where's a Bible verse? Sorry, I don't have one. I don't, I don't believe that I need one. God gave us a brain. He expects us to use it. Um, because reality is we can take all things and use them for his glory, right? Meat sacrificed to idols. If you eat the meat, big deal. If you won't do it because of sacrifice to idols, big deal. That's what Paul had to say. So, I, I, I'll, I'll go that way. I also realize about the stumbling block. If it's a stumbling point for you, don't listen to those songs. Just don't. But don't judge the guys who do those songs and say somehow they're not Christian anymore. Don't bash them. Just realize, you know, for you and your walk, that's not where you need to be. But don't judge me or somebody else because we're not on the same point that you are. That's my rant for today. Hope it didn't stir up the hornet's nest too much. Don't forget to say your prayers and God bless.